City leaders in Appleton announced plans today to close the aging herb pool. In its place, a new water attraction that will help save taxpayer money. NBC 26's Eric Crest is live at 6 to show us why the city feels this move is necessary. This summer, nearly 100,000 gallons of water seeped out of the aging herb pool piping system every single day. That's an estimated cost for taxpayers of about $15,000 over the course of the summer. And today, city leaders are proposing a change. For nearly four decades, Herb Pool has been a hot spot to beat the summer heat. But the time has come now. It's 37 years, and uh, uh, this summer we experienced some major failure. This is my third year on council, and this has been an issue that's come up every time we've done the budget now for three years. But rather than plug nearly $12 million into a new pool and infrastructure, we have to do something. City leaders have proposed installing a splash pad, kind of like a wading pool for kids, at a cost of just $3 million. We've known for a while that this pool was very near the end of its useful life, if not beyond it, and that we were going to have to make a decision one way or the other. And with six pools already in place within a 10 mile radius of Appleton, a recent survey found that a splash pad could be a popular addition to the block. 67% of the people had indicated uh, what would bring them to Herb Pool Park more often, and it was splash pads. And if city leaders all agree, it's the right move for Appleton's budget. By 2017, this place could look much different. The proposal would also add splash pads at Pierce, Tallulah, and Memorial Parks. City leaders will discuss whether to go forward with the plan this month as they hash out their budget plan. Eric Crest, NBC 26.